Hello everyone, welcome to Fears to Fathom. This is an episodic horror game, and this is Ironbark Lookout, which I think is episode 4. So I'm starting with this one, uh, because it looks like the episodes are standalone experiences, and this one just came out. Uh, at time of recording, it came out yesterday. And when I pulled it up on Steam, for games that I've played that it's similar to, it said that it's similar to Firewatch and Mortuary Assistant. Uh, which is a combination that I never thought I would run into. But anyway, I'm excited to get into it, and we can always check out the other episodes too. So let's see what it's about. And supposedly, like, this notice at the bottom here, like, supposedly these are based on stories that people have actually shared. I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest, miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nights, clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Right off the bat, a couple things. First off, when I loaded up the game, it said all the music in this game is copyright free. So immediately just thank you for that. <laughs> oh. Got a couple of text message conversations. Do I answer these? What if I type something? Okay. It didn't work. Hmm. Always pull over to send a text message. I lived a very solitary life. It helps quiet my mind to keep the memories at bay. Yeah, no kidding, Firewatch was so... Like, that game was, was pretty cool. Like, just that kind of lifestyle, you know, getting a glimpse into it. And those houses they live in. I've always loved the great outdoors. Like, just a house on stilts. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I felt like I was at home in the woods. New messages. A new diner, best burgers. Cool. These really seem like... I wonder if these are the actual, like, if these are actual messages. Just transcripts of the actual texts. Because it's, it's based on a story somebody wrote in, right? And then the whole VHS thing, like it's a, like it's a found footage kind of thing almost, but old timey. I saw the diner Kayla was talking. <laughs> uh, reckless driving on my part. <laughs> yeah, the whole VHS approach is interesting because it gives it that kind of vintage found footage kind of feeling, but 
at the same time, like it's just a person's perspective, you know? It doesn't play like you're watching camera footage. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Not too bad. First choice of the game. Bar or table. I've always liked sitting at the bar at diners and stuff because it's the same food, but like it all comes out faster because it's right there. <laughs> I always feel like you just get better, faster service sitting at the bar, but that's just me. Can I sit? Maybe there is a specific seat I'm supposed to take. I think there was. <laughs> I am ready to order. Uh, let's see. Meatball sub and chicken nuggets. That's a little heavy, huh? Man, all of these are... Mmm, <laughs> I gotta go with the grilled cheese. With a coffee. Well, that's it. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Oh, alright. Let's, uh... Find the bathroom. I really had to pee. Okay, got it, got it. <laughs> I spilled. I feel like I'm watching Austin Powers. I was done with it. <laughs> nice narration. Can we wash our hands? Always wash your hands. Can we flush? There we go. Is our sandwich ready? I love eating at diners. I like the, uh, I like that unique kind of diner service, especially at the bar. I like the, the simple food, kind of homey environment. Hey, look, my choice mattered. They brought out the food that I ordered. <laughs> nice. Progress bar for consuming. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Yeah, what do they even eat in Firewatch Towers? I mean, I'm assuming they have to kind of stock up and have everything there. So I would imagine that the food you have available is kind of just, you probably have to really economize and consider like space and longevity of the food and everything. Oh, you should send me that casserole recipe. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess they do have I don't see why they couldn't put like a stove and you know oven and everything in a fire watch tower. It's an interesting choice of music for a diner. Yeah, the Pacific Northwest though. 
It's so beautiful. Like, every time I go out there, which has not been that many times, but every time I do... Oh, you know what? It's my last uh, diner meal for a long time. It's tip well. I got an achievement for that. So whenever I play a game that takes place in that kind of area, for some reason, I feel like a lot of the games I play in that take place in that setting are kind of suspenseful slash horror type of games. Don't know why. But still, playing that kind of game just reminds me of how much I want to live out there. Of course, then I remember that... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I back up? <laughs> this is uh, such an awkward... I'm, I'm not good at driving RVs, apparently. <laughs> Oops. I should have taken it easy. Alright. We left a trail of destruction, but we, we made it. Anyway, then I remember that it's like... I was watching a, like a weather report in the morning when I was staying out there once. And it was like, there's a daily, like, smoke report, like, wildfires and smoke and everything, because apparently that's just, like, a super common thing. Like, common enough that it's just a regular segment of the weather report that you talk about how much smoke and where. I want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Maybe the VHS overlay is... I drove past the trail at first. Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe the purpose of the VHS overlay is to make it less spooky. Like, lower visual uh, fidelity makes it easier to uh, put up with jump scares and stuff. I drove my RV onto the foot... I wasn't very proud of my driving. <laughs> I like the... Uh, I like the touches of humor. What odd noises. Ironbark State Park. I'm assuming that there isn't really a park called Iron Bar. Jeez, why was... What are you doing? <laughs> Ugh. Why would you jump out like that? May Lord have mercy. <laughs> I am the new transferred fire lookout. Didn't know we were hiring. That's... doesn't seem right. Of all the moments to do a jump scare, I was not expecting one at that particular moment. Okay, fire tower 11. He thought the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. Okay, but he found me in the system. So am I supposed to be here? Hmm. Am I driving down the foot trail? I mean, surely the purpose of this gate is that... Oh. Might need a flashlight. Thank you, Billy. Be 
sure to make your first weather report from your system. Okay. Reach out to Tower 12. Nice guy there. Thanks, Billy. Ooh. You have more? Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Dangerous woods that way. Nasty business. Okay. What did it say? I think G to drop or something like that. Alright, well he only opened one gate, so I'm just going to assume that I'm not supposed to drive, continue driving down the foot trail. No bikes. Only horses. <laughs> Stay on trail. I left my bag in the RV at first. Message received. I like the way they are uh, using the narration to uh, prompt you. G to throw. But then I went back and got my bag. Actually, the ambient noise kind of reminds me of um, Oxenfree. That was a fun game. Very suspenseful, weird atmosphere. It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold. Tower 11. so nostalgic playing uh, this kind of game like I mean not this type of gameplay but just the visual style I like the retro vibe a lot okay tower 11 oh, there it is living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. What's in this utility shack? wind abruptly stops. I guess both my hands are full anyway, so I'll probably come back here once I drop stuff off. Yeah, I was in uh, the Boy Scouts for a lot of years. So I did a lot of camping in those days. But since then, I mostly do occasional hiking. And I haven't really camped in a long time. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. The cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. I accidentally dropped my flashlight. There it is. Drop that. I had to report for tonight. Oh yeah, uh, with this, right? No. Uh, with this. Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Forgot to turn the generator on at first. Okay, where's that? I'm assuming maybe the foot of the tower. Oh yeah, I remember seeing it. Yeah. Here it is. Wow, 
that sound is that uh, I was playing uh, Phasmophobia, and apparently all generators sound the same, because it's like the exact same generator noise. I just, I don't know, made me immediately think of that. Okay, now I can do this. Is this, huh? Ninety-eight. Do I know my password? Am I supposed to know it? Check the Iron Bark Rules Flyer. Okay. Rules Flyer. Rules. This. Lights out after. 12 p.m. Lights out after noon. No guests. System password is ironbark11. Okay. Oh. I wonder if I will have to actually refuel the generator routinely. And call your sister station before you sleep. Okay. So ironbark11... back memories. Remember that stupid paperclip from uh, the old Word, Microsoft Word things? Oh, these are just random facts. Yep. Honey never spoils, really? Actually, uh, honey is, like, my favorite secret ingredient when I'm cooking. Like, you'd be surprised what a dash of honey will make better when you're cooking. Plague.exe. Did the previous person break the rules? I saw there was a rule saying no video games. Oh, service reporting, right. That's what we're supposed to do. Measure weather conditions with... Oh. I like that there's voice acting for this part. I'm Connor, Fire Tower 12. Isn't that the job? But had to cover your area until <laughs> True. you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. You got a fire going? No. Okay, but aren't I supposed to, uh, do this thing? I guess I have to actually find this data somewhere. Oh, it's 2002. Okay. Okay, okay. Fire. Is there a... I'm in a wooden house on stilts. Is it really the best idea to have a... Oh, there's a stove thingy here. There was no... Did you light it up yet? Firewood. No, I haven't. Wood stove should be around the entrance. I guess the wood's probably at the bottom. Oh, that must be him. Connor was on the radio line. Okay, so it's not down there. 
or it would let me go and get it. Firewood. Where would I be hiding? Are you still talking to me? Is that what? Oh. No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Stamper, who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from storage. Okay. Now we go. Oh yeah, there's plenty. Firewatch definitely took some suspenseful turns. It wasn't like a horror game, but it was a good story. So this, I'm sure, will be a little bit different because it is actually a, a horror game. Matches. Hmm. Oh, open. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Um... Not quite right. Let's try that uh, over there. Did that work? Well, I'm about to burn this place down. Tell me how. Get your report for the night yet? You better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every. You don't want to disappoint right. me. So I have to check. Uh, is this something I use? Eighteen knots. And whatever this is, I guess it's a compass. I probably don't need that to tell anything for this report. What was it? What was the other thing? I need temperature. 18. Where would I find a thermometer? Do you see a thermometer anywhere? What can I see with these? Huh, his light's off. That's weird. It was on just uh, a few minutes ago when I went down to get the firewood. Okay. Where do I find what temperature it is? Maybe this employee training. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. Uh, <laughs> if you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned the by the hell? Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You've been selected as one of our fire lookout observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. <laughs> nice bullet points You will there. be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire! Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. 
Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records this of daily temperature. Great. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best <laughs> not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly Very complicated fancy. form, often used by NASA employees. <laughs> so don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. You're ready to work, mostly. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. What is, and remember, if what you is see going smoke, on with this tower? Don't here. joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Wow. Top of the morning. Did notice uh, just a little bit of an accent there. Vocal is in temperature. See, we think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. It didn't actually say. It just said there. Record rises. It is best that we have. It just says there's a thermometer. So. Okay. So there is a thermometer around here somewhere. Is it supposed to be hard to find the thermometer? Fucking hell, it's right here. 46.5. I am blind. Ugh. I wasn't sure if I had put in the right weather condition. I mean, what? There are clouds. Thanks. Over and out. I sleep. Uh oh. Middle of the night. Something on the radio. Who's calling? I had to pee. It's not Connor. out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. No kidding. <laughs> Left mouse button to pee. Okay. Every time that one tree moves, it's like, it makes me think somebody's there.
What the hell? Just gonna get back inside. Pretend that didn't happen. It's just you and the wind and the time melts away. Yeah, I mean, this would be... It would have its downsides, but it would definitely have its upsides. Something's really wrong with that radio. <laughs> I'll take a picture of uh, Tower 12 over there. Space to get off. Okay. I don't like this radio. <laughs> this is Connor from Tower 12. You copy? Doesn't work very well. Tower 11, do you copy? Son of a bitch! Uh, hello? <laughs> Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? North. Let's see. Is this sunrise or sunset? Well, north is, uh, that way. Oh, yeah, there it is. Sturdy mug. White smoke indicates a campfire, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember that one from... Do you see that smoke up north? Yeah, I do. Anything else you can tell me? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an okay. eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods. New guys. Bear spray. Word out. Bear spray. That would be. Oh. Could have sworn I saw a can of something. Let's see. If that's a sunrise. I'm not going to need a flashlight, right? But I should find where that can of bear spray was. Oh, is this it? Yes. Off we go. I'm sure I can fight off whoever is uh, the culprit out there with this stuff. Makes me wonder, like, right, I've already lost, uh, no, it's this way, yeah. Like, the people who actually do this? Like, how, how do they deal with, you know, problem people who don't really respond to just being told to leave? Okay, if it's going to skip like that, then I definitely should have brought a flashlight. I guess that was... What the hell's going on? I heart Jen. She gives the best head. Alright. 
Noted. What the hell? Yeah, bad service around here. Oh, nice. And we got a uh, casserole recipe. Pasta, sauce, pepperoni, cheese, tomatoes. Eh, I don't know about that. Hmm. Where are they? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Wait, who the hell's whistling? put this out. What do I... What do I use to put it out? Is there... I wish that guy would stop whistling. It's kind of unsettling. How do I pick this up? Maybe I should drop the bear spray. How does one put out a fire if there isn't a, a convenient bucket of water right there? Well, if I can't pick up these other things, I might as well take this bear spray. It's coming from over here, where the trail is closed. Can I spray it? No. What do I do? Well, there's water right here. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> I fill up this bucket. Well done, Jack. I kind of want to leave now. Let's just mosey out of here, back to our <laughs> cozy fire watchtower. Job's done. Did I just hear footsteps? As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. That was weird. I think... I'm not sure if that showed up on, um, on the recording but I think the game just kind of bugged out for a second. Came up with like a, what looked like a crash report and everything.
Yeah, the part of the job that involves hiking alone through the woods at night while people whistle at you from the dark somewhere. I don't know if I could do that part. I like hiking out to see places like this and then going back to a uh, climate controlled comfortable room somewhere. <laughs> A casserole. Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Jeez, settle down, Connor. This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? Yes. A scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. I've heard a fox scream, and it is an awful sound. At one of the places I lived, uh, there was one out in the woods behind I don't know the house. What you're talking about, new guy, but I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. So I heard it almost every night, and it was uh, it was a bad, it was an awful sound. About a month ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. But this scream definitely was a manly scream. So what's with these missing kids? We don't know. Okay. People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes I only wish they were true. <laughs> well, at least now you know why. why. <laughs> Yeah, you should have told me that, man, before I started. New guy, I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Uh, is there a yes option? <laughs> you didn't hear what I heard out there. Right. Anyways, I'm gonna contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Yes, please. Okay, do I need to report again on yeah, 48 degrees and 48 degrees and 18 knots. Uh-oh. Wow. This pizza pasta bake is uh, pretty popular. So, bad service, that's always a good sign. And it looks like I am making pasta, making some casserole today. Let me see if I have to report this stuff first. Four, eight. One, eight. Zero. I forget if it was cloudy. I'm just going to say it was clear again. Jack. Nope. It's not. Looks cloudy. Cool. So are we making pasta? these directions again. Place ingredients in casserole. Bake. Seems straightforward enough. Oh look, here's here's a casserole. At this point, I was starving. Uh, okay. Ingredients. These don't look like the right ingredients. It's like tomatoes and 
cheese or something. Pasta, sauce, pepperoni, cheese, tomatoes. Pasta. <laughs> nice. Sauce. That just looks like cans of salmon. And I like salmon, but canned salmon sounds like about the grossest thing possible. Uh, let's see, what's in the fridge? This red stuff? <laughs> uh, cheese? Anywhere? Ham? That's not it. Burr? Doesn't look right. Mozzarella. And tomato. Where would I find a tomato? I am making such a mess. Oh, pepperoni, I need these. That's everything but diced tomatoes. I mean, that would come in a can, wouldn't it? But all these cans say salmon on them. Hmm. Maybe one of these? Oh, yeah. All set. 10 out of 10 can make pasta bake. I guess I leave that alone for... It's been like two days, you don't have to call me new guy anymore. Just reported their ass to the authorities. Don't worry. Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Hope they can track them down and give them peace of mind. Tell you what. I think I'm gonna use sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Over twelve, signing off. Over and out. What's with these excessive pauses? Kind of creepy. Oh wow, that was fast. I just remember that I liked eating in bed. All right. Why not? <laughs> bed casserole. didn't quite work. Do I have to put this on something else first? Is there a plate somewhere? Hmm. What a mess. Eating in bed. Yeah, I'm trying. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Nothing like some bed pasta. We are eating a lot of this <laughs> in one go. Why not? Do I stick this in the fridge? <laughs> I should have. Maybe that works. There we go. <laughs> I think that's everything, right? Uh, we gotta go get more wood. I don't like that. That spells trouble. Have expected to see that the uh, smoke was back. Hmm. 
generator isn't actually making noise. But I'm assuming it's still working, since I have power. Wait a second. It's just kind of registering that on my way to the shack there. Did I hear whistling? I think I heard whistling. Don't like that. Hazard, uh, just pouring fuel all over the place. Whew. Close the boards outside. The boards. Oh, those. Why does it feel like something bad is going to happen as I close these? This seems ominous. Oh wait, is there? There's more. Damn it. <laughs> I gotta go around. Why is it so tense? Like, I just know something's gonna happen. All I'm doing is putting some boards down. And I guess there aren't any for right there. actually really surprised that nothing happened. <laughs> or did nothing happen. Okay, that fucking whistling. Excuse me?
I didn't know what to make of it. I mean, yeah. Call for help. That's what we do. No, it could not. <laughs> Buddy, you put up with this for a few nights. <laughs> Can you send someone now? For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Over and out. Hey, at least he called me by my name this time. <laughs> Ugh, thanks. Connor didn't make any sense. But, not much else I could do. Not much else but go to sleep. Everything will be better in the morning, I'm sure. Of course that was real. It was not a harmless prank. <laughs> but something just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. Yeah. Occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower or scanning the densities of trees all around me. <laughs> Cleaning the binoculars. There we go. Oh, what the hell? I guess we should probably report that. Hello? Is anyone there? I, I need help! Please, Hello. someone answer! That's not Connor. Interesting. We have to close the door first. Who is this? Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time, and, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think I think I'm lost. I guess if he's lost, he can't just he can't tell me what his location is, huh? Yeah, I guess. What do you look like? I'm wearing a red jacket. Got it. I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. I guess we have to ask. I, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. True. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Hmm. I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Ooh. Can you help me? Let me not just take a wild guess. Uh, trail map. Trail map. Is that on here? Yes. 
Okay, cool. Um, stream, stream, you can help. Okay. Stream, trail, intersection, uh, hello? Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these yes, I'm still here. Seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Yeah, I got it. Give me a second. So, I mean, in the middle of the woods isn't very helpful. I guess all we really know is he was going west. Or he's going west now. And he's at an intersection. And there was a small stream. Okay. That kind of looks like this, right? If he passed a stream earlier and now... He's going west, and there's an intersection. Going left will take him to the trailhead. That definitely looks like... That looks like the best shot for what... What the right intersection is. So let's go with that. Take the left trail. Take the right trail or the left to get me. Ah, I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. I'm right here. What? I hear you. I hear your whistles. Oh shit. Huh. I noticed that they have these boards closed. You did it again, man. You did it again. <laughs> Holy moly. May the god be merciful? That's the second time he said something a little odd, like that. Is this guy in on it? On this weird stuff going on in the woods? What were you doing there? This guy's totally in on it. Mercy. Nasty business. Yeah, bobcats and bears and a creepy whistling... It's not you, is it? No, it's not you because the whistling guy is currently slaughtering that hiker over to the west a little ways. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, even if I don't go anywhere, they're leaving, they're leaving skulls on my doorstep. Have mercy. I wonder if that was an option. Could I have taken a photo? I don't know. Just don't think about it. Yeah, no, I don't know, man. They're literally coming up to my tower, and... Yeah. yeah. Don't know about that. My food's just still laying all over the place. <laughs> it's supposed to be the other way up. Where do I put this anyway? Anywhere? 
guess I should file my report. 55.3. Twenty four and fifty five point three. Gotta keep that door closed. Uh, let's see. Fifty five point three. Twenty four. Oh, and I assisted a hiker. Okay, I don't remember what it was. Oh, it's pretty windy, yeah. I wonder what happens if... Oh, I'm assuming if you don't, then it just prompts you to do it. Ooh, leftovers. The best part of any meal is eating the leftovers. For some reason, they always taste better than... Okay. Hope this container is microwave safe. <laughs> Microwaving for 420. Well... What else is new? Oh, okay, here we go. Let's have some more bed pasta. The chewy, slurpy noises. Yeah. Could do without that in my ear. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. I must be on edge. When I turned around and saw that, that, I was like, who is crouching there in the corner? <laughs> oh, this again. Every time I go out there, oh, and they're going to have me do this thing again too, huh? Maybe I'll do it now. Get ahead of the system. That way it can't trick me. With something later. The fact that they leave this one open makes me think something's gonna go on. Something's gonna happen. Why would they leave it open like that? Should I actually bring a flashlight? Nah. So far they haven't made me refuel the generator. Not really sure what that would involve anyway. Oh my god! just staring at me. I guess I'm doing the same to you, huh? That's a weird thing to say as your first line to somebody. Names can be deceiving? No, they can't. They're just names. Everyone's talking about me? Uh, yeah. Are you gonna sabotage the uh, communications at some point? Music is, te is telling me that that was a really weird thing for you to say. Hmm. Your 
talking like a straight up cultist man. I'll see you around. Gotta be going now. <laughs> so. Yeah, creepiest vibes. No kidding. Kind of want to just like sit him down, be like, okay, buddy, you got to knock that shit off and just talk to me straight. What the hell's going on? Just appearing behind me like that. What's wrong with you? Oh yeah, I need this first. Just get it everywhere. No biggie. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. New guy, you there? I'm here, I'm here. And so is Silas, apparently. You got me now. <sighs> Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran into who? Great, so Silas isn't even real. That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair cost its repair date was postponed until the next big funding. No time soon, according to Mitch. Okay. If this is all based on like if this if this is all something that actually happens to this person Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. Do you your name. You think he's been listening? Yeah, kind of. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Oh, I'm sure he's uh super concerned about that. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I need to figure out, like... Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Tower 12, signing off. Like, am I supposed to be carrying a camera around with me? Because they had one, they had me using one earlier. But I don't know if it's... I don't know where it went. Let's go to bed. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to leave this job. Told myself it was just a change of environment. I mean, that's true. Whenever I move, like the first night in the new place, for some reason, it's always super unsettling, no matter what the environment is. You don't think that was enough to cause an alarm? Oh great, it's gonna get worse. <laughs> Two nights later. You guy, you got a minute? Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted me to let you know. Okay. They say it's an important security update. Alright. No more snoopers, I guess. So we can ignore it. <laughs> well, they say they've optimized the reporting software. Improved the oh. communication system. If you ask, it all looks the same to my eyes. Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology, dare I say it. I mean the computers it's... are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Hmm, firewatch jobs? I mean I'm sure you can do I'm sure you can do a lot of that kind of thing with Anyways, for now use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. I'm sure you can do a lot of that with 
software, but you know, it's not a soft piece of software isn't going to go out and like assist a, a hiker or whatever things like that. There's stuff that you gotta always going to need a person for. Update. Update package code. Uh, was I given that? I don't know. It, I don't think so. Help. Package code. Yeah, I need a. Maybe try this one first. Okay, there's three updates, and maybe I should just do all of them. Oh, it looks like there's just one code for all three. Okay. Update 434-6084. found okay what is this like is this some weird you know archaic internet thing that yeah <laughs> pick an active line like phone line I guess does this choice matter I choose you oh That's odd. Okay, well that worked. And then it didn't. Did my generator just go out? Do I have a flashlight? Great. I can't wait to uh, go out in the rain and the dark and get the power back on. I'm sure it'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm sorry, I had to take a short break because my stomach was growling so loudly I was afraid the mic was gonna pick it up. Um, maybe it did for all I know. So I had to just uh, just go eat some dinner. But I also just noticed um, the photos that I texted to Kayla are the ones I actually took. So that's kind of cool. Nice touch. I was just reading back through all these these message histories just for a little uh, background. So. I believe our generator went out, and we are going to see what is going on with that. At least Tower 12 is okay still. And if... If Mitch himself... Right, that's the guy that came to drop the supplies off, right? And he's the one who was like, Don't go in the woods, it's nasty business. If he's the one who... Oh, okay. Out of gas. Back to that shack. Like, you would think the other lookouts would... You know... Kind of catch on to the fact that he's clearly... Not right... Oh. Can I just uh, do that anywhere? Oh. Maybe use this since it's right here. Okay, we gotta go into graphic detail. <laughs> oh. Why is it picking up on my voice now, of all times? door is 
is just mildly transparent. I remember when I was a kid, actually, I had this weird fear of porter potties. Not sure why. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. At least he isn't calling us new guy anymore. We never turned off our flashlight, huh? Jack, do you copy? Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. Oh really? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. Uh, I bet I can. Let's see. Binoculars. Flashlight. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Thanks, Connor. Yeah, you do that. West. Oh, right over there. What the hell? going on out there? <gasps> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Flash photography at night? That probably wasn't super bright, huh? Maybe I'll just... Pardon me. Just gonna. Just gonna. Hide under the bed. <laughs> oh, shit. Nobody here. Nobody here. It's safe.
I don't hear him anymore. I had to make a run. Great. Can I ward them off with anything? Where's that bear spray? <laughs> Alright, let's go. I don't know. Oh, shit. What the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't know if this is cheating. But I saw the achievements. I looked on the Steam page for this game, and it was like, oh, I have two out of five achievements, and one of the three that I don't have is survive. It didn't just like respawn me at the top of the of the Firewatch Tower to try again. Like that was it. I I got killed. <laughs> All right. I realized when I went back into the episode, it actually has the. Um, story points like saved that you can load from so i loaded from the last one again i just want to give it one more shot to see maybe there's something i can do differently they did just make a thing about closing the door to the porter potty like right before this so i'm gonna try hiding i think i'm gonna try hiding in there because that's the only thing i can think of to do there must be a way, right? This is a story recounted by a survivor. We have to survive. So there's got to be a way. Let's go. And I love that it picks up on our voice. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we try this. Hmm. But I didn't actually get the door closed. Try that one more time and see if I can close the door. Honestly, these weird cultist people shouldn't just do this right out in the open like this if they don't want to be discovered. What are they doing there anyway? Is that a body on there?
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Into the toilet. Yes. Shit. Maybe that's why the door to the porta potty was uh, semi transparent. <laughs> Did we make it? Where did my RV go? Oh shit. Don't think so. Don't think so. Let me go. <laughs> and my final words were, forgot to close the door. All right, we can do this. Remember to close the door. Oh, buddy, he coming. Oh, god damn it. That probably screwed me right there. Turning me around like that. Oof. As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir-crazy out here, Mitch answered. Fucking Mitch. That guy. <laughs> Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. There it is. Okay. Now that is the ending to the campfire story. Employee training VA was Jack Septicai. <laughs> okay. Did not realize that. That's a cool touch though. That was like a perfect campfire story, right? Just more immersive. I think the developer is definitely like onto a really cool idea for exactly what they're doing, which is an episodic horror series of these kinds of stories. It's funny, the first game I played on this channel was Mortuary Assistant, the second game was Firewatch. How fitting to play Firewatch but horror. That was a really cool experience. I like that whole bite-sized, you know, I, there's something to be said for really longer games that you can get invested in, but I also really appreciate um, more bite-sized games that you can get done in two hours. Um, I definitely am curious how the other ones are. Let me know um, if you've played the other games, if you played this one, how does this one compare to the others in terms of, you know, style, in terms of how good it is. I'm definitely curious. I was really questioning the whole VHS filter, um, 
because it wasn't playing like a found footage game, it was... It, it kind of seemed like the filter like had no reason for being there. Um, although I do know that if you maybe don't have the budget or the manpower for like some really high production quality, that that kind of technique is, is really useful potentially for compensating for that. Um, so maybe that's what it was. Really good at establishing that constant tension. That break that I took, my dinner was hot, right? So I blew on it. But when I blew on it, I accidentally whistled a little bit. <laughs> and immediately I was like, oh shit, that guy's here. <laughs> I had a, I have this bad habit of whistling too much, and I'm pretty sure this game broke it. Like, I'm probably never going to whistle again. Um, I really like horror where they just take something so simple and they manage to find a way to make it creepy, you know, like somebody whistling. Like that part where we found the campsite and put the fire out and we could hear the person whistling, like just out of sight somewhere. And when we helped that hiker and he was like, oh, there you are. I, I can see you. I can hear you whistling. That was such a cool moment. And I also thought it was a nice use of humor, the way they handled the narration, the captions and everything. Um, I really like humor as contrast, you know, like in a horror game, those little threads, those little nuggets of humor um, stand out all that much more because they're just such a contrast with the rest of it and they kind of help ground it and make it a more well-rounded, you know, kind of balanced experience. So I, I like that. So thank you for watching Fears to Fathom Ironbark Lookout. Stay safe out there. Happy Halloween. Thank you.